March 15, 2022, lab number four. It's a circuit with a single resistor. What we have to know? One, first thing we have to know, lab report one was corrected and downloaded to your group folder. Right, you already know how to access that uh, file, right? Uh, but I'm gonna, okay, to see your lab report grade one. A, hey, here you go. It's always nice to have that documented, right? Go to your group folder. Ooh. Download. Download the file P3080L01GY. Well, HTM, right? You're already familiar, most of you are already familiar. Okay, download the files, it's a folder, Down download folder, P38L01GY files. D, when you download the folder, it's usually zipped in your hard drive. So it's gonna be recorded, right? So if you go inside the zipped folder and copy its contents, Paste the copied con contents outside the zip folder. Zip folder. The folder. The unzipped folder. The unzipped folder. And the file must be located in the same folder. Do not drag the HTML file inside the folder. That's a common mistake students make. Now you are ready to see your grade and the correction to your spreadsheet, right? Double click the HTM file and you will see and you will see everything you need. Everything you need to know. You know about your report. If you fail to upload your hard copy, I took out 15 points, okay? There were two groups that didn't upload the hard copy file there. So make sure you work in the hard copy and upload that there. Uh, download spreadsheet uh, P38, here you go, P38 and Here you go. You should have your spreadsheet already. Download spreadsheet P38 L X X G Y Y and relabel it as relabel it as P38 L04 G you know why, why, why? It should be just one Y. Okay, we label it. Okay, that circuit with a single resistor and Ohm's law. That's what this lab is all about. We are going to see Ohm's law soon, and you're going to see resistors soon too. Okay, so what we are going to do. We're going to learn how to put together the simplest electric circuit there is, power supply, and one resistor. And one resistor. You learn how to measure voltage. You already learned how to measure resistance, right? You already learned how to measure resistance. You will also learn how to measure current. So this multimeter here of there of yours allows you to measure not just resistance, allows you to measure voltage and allows you to measure current as well. Measuring current is the most difficult of all. We usually damage the multimeter when we measure current with it. We usually, okay. So let's make sure you don't. Uh, and we'll verify Ohm's law as well. Okay, what does Ohm's law state? So Ohm's law states that there is a relationship between voltage, 
resistance and current in a circuit. That's the resistance. That, that's, the, that's, the, that's the relationship. And let me put here between quotes. This is not exactly a law, okay? It's not exactly a law. It's just something else that's a consequence that is the special case of something else. That's the special case of something far more far more overarching, okay? So, it's a re linear relationship between V and I. Okay, if uh, the voltage increases, the current is also going to increase. And remember what current is. Current is just how fast an electron travels in a circuit. Okay? Voltage is a a potential energy is po the energy that we give to the electrons that we give to the electric charges and resistance is just like something that impedes the motion of electric charges it slow down the motion of electric charges what do you have to know about today's experiments okay you know that there are electric charges in nature it's possible to make electric charges move possible to make them move in a specific direction to make them move, we apply a difference in potential to the charge. Batteries and power supplies can create this potential difference. When I charge, when I charge move, you create an electrical current. By the same token that a water current is mo motion of water, an electric current is the motion of electric charges. Okay? So the unit of the resistance you already know is the ohm uh, and the unit of current. What's the unit of current? There you go. Here's the equation for the current, right? I mentioned that before. Is the amount of charge that crosses a given cross section in the wire. So think about, you know, here you go. Here's your wire. When you have, I connect this guy to a power supply, electric charges start moving here from one direction to another. Okay? Just imagine those invisible electric charges moving in this wire. And if you were able to count how many charges cross this cross section of this wire per second and multiply it by the electric charge, you get the current. Okay, it's gonna be something like that. Uh, oops, gotta put the divide divided here. Okay, the unit of electric current is coulombs per second because this unit appears so frequently, we call it an ampere. Okay, so what's the procedure? Choose one of the two resistors and work you go. First, first step. Choose one of the two resistors in your envelope and work with it for the rest of the lab. Okay? You're not gonna need a second resistor. Okay, next, what you're going to do? You're going to do something that you already know how to do. You're going to measure the electrical resistance of the resistor with your DMM. You're not going to read the colors, okay? Reading the colors is just for the previous experiment. It's far more convenient for you to measure the resistance with the multimeter than keep on looking at the colors in the resistor, okay? So let's do that first, okay? Measure the electrical resistance. And then you're going to put together a circuit with the power supply. I'm going to show you in my PowerPoint slide, okay, how to do that. I have you know, measured the resistor and log it in the spreadsheet that we have. Go, this is going to be lab number four. Spreadsheet is coming. Enable editing. Four. Right in here. Here you go. Okay. That's raw data. Go ahead. Measure resistance. I'm going to pause. Okay. Here's a PowerPoint slide of how you're going to put your stuff together, right? You start with the power supply connected to the power red cable to the red jack of the power supply you know you put you're gonna put the alligator clip at the end of the red jack and you're gonna clip to the end of the resistor of your single resistor you're gonna use just one resistor 
You're not gonna use two the two resistors that you have there. We're gonna use two resistors only next time. And then you connect the black cable to the other end of the resistor. Okay? At this very moment, what's happening? Now that you are providing energy to the electrons, you're going to have the charges moving here in the circuit. A current, the current is going to be in this direction, from the positive into the negative. That is the direction of the current. Okay? The circuit is, looks something like that. Battery, resistor, right? Oh, you got to put 10 volts, by the way. Did you put 10, did you set 10 volts there? Set 10 volts there in the power supply. And... We go. Did I put 10 volts here too? No, I didn't do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I start with 10 volts. V sub for V of the power supply. Resistance measurement here. Don't forget, you must display the right number of significant figures. Okay, L read from the power supply. You know, and you display exactly whatever is written there in the red display of the power supply should be 10.0 okay so he go now you're gonna get the multimeter okay we're going to do the simple thing that we do yes yeah this up okay so where it says 10 you just you put point zero no you do that yeah, that's what I'm asking, so. yeah yeah you do that well, well, what, whatever display there in the power supply, what's the display in the power supply? Is 10.0? Okay, so you display that. Here you go. Right click, right? Uh, format cell and blah, 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 right? Okay, so he go. Okay, now we are going to connect the multimeter to this circuit to measure voltage. Okay, go ahead, get your multimeter and... Choose one of the one of the scales in the upper right of the device. Upper right, not upper left. Upper left is different type of voltage. The voltage on the upper right is what we call DC voltage, direct current voltage. The voltage on the upper left is AC current. We're gonna learn AC current later on. Okay, AC DC voltage is the simple of all voltage that we have out there. Okay, so, you know, make sure you choose the prop, the most sensitive scale, right? Upper right. Here we go. And red cable of the multimeter to the, to one end of the resistor. Black cable of the DMM to the other end of the resistor. Okay. You're going to take your first measurement. Because the multimeter will be connected in parallel with the power supply, it should be reading the same value that you have here. The difference is going to be that your multimeter is going to have more significant figures than the power supply. And what do you, where do you log it? You log it right here as V1. Okay? V1 is measurement of the multimeter. V sub is the measurement of the power supply. Okay? They should be very close to one another. The difference is that this guy is going to have more significant figures than the other. Okay? Once you are done with that, what are you are going to do? You are going to decrease the voltage to 8, 6, 4, 2. Okay? Let's do that first. When you get to 2, we are going to do something else. That is the, you know, straightforward part. Here you go. That's how we draw a circuit diagram the positive of the voltmeter connects with the side of the resistor that's facing the positive of the battery the negative of the multimeter connects with the other end of the resistor that's facing the negative of the battery okay can you see that well or the the figure is too too can you see that well the circuit okay okay so here you go Okay, so I'm going to pause my video. Okay, once you are done with the positive voltages, okay, from 
E agora measure 10, e agora set your power supply voltage to 10, and measure the voltage of the multimeter. We are going to change your power supply voltage to 8, measure with your multimeter, 6, 4, 2. When you are done with 2, what are you going to do? You are going to, you know, get this end of the cable, the, of the red cable, and put on the black jack. And the end of the black jack, put on the, or the black cable, put on the red jack. Something like that. You do not change the tip here at the resistor. And then, when you do that, you are going to be measuring negative voltages in the multimeter. Okay? Minus 2, minus 4, you repeat for minus 6, minus 8, and minus 10, right? The power supply is still going to show the positive values, but then the multimeter, no. The multimeter is going to show the negative ones. Because you switch the polarity, you know, you are getting negative voltages there. So let me know whenever you're ready so we can proceed to the most difficult part of the experiment, which is to measure current. Fin we, finish we finish collecting the data for voltage. Okay, if you go to your spreadsheet, you should have finished those two columns here. Don't forget to display all the sequence figures. Not only those two columns, but this cell as well for the resistance, for the resistor, for the value, for the resistance value of the resistor. Okay. So the, again, to measure voltage, connect the MM in parallel. Now we are going to do the most difficult part of the experiment, that is to measure current. We usually don't connect the voltmeter properly when, when measure cur measuring current, and we end up burning the multimeter. So watch out for that, okay? Be aware of that. So how are you going to do that? You're going to start from scratch. Start from scratch. Disconnect your circuit and start from scratch. Red cable on the power supply. You know, first thing, disconnect everything, you know. Procedure. Procedure to measure current, right? Procedure to measure current. Okay. Start from scratch. Disconnect everything. Everything. And start from scratch. Okay. Red cable to red jack. Connect. Oh, by the way, remove the tape that you have there on the left side of your multimeter. Don't throw away the tape. I want you to put it back, okay? Remove the tape. You are going, in order to measure current, we are going to use a different circuit. Okay, someone is doing something incorrect, okay? Maybe you burn out your multimeter now, okay? So here you go. There are two, there are two yellow jacks here. You're going to use this one here with saying, that says microamps and milliamps, okay? Turn off your multimeter first. Yeah. Turn off your multimeter first. You're doing, most likely you're doing something wrong, okay? So don't forget, set your scale to amps. The one in the middle right. Okay? Set your scale to DC amp. Maybe that's why it's beeping, right? Turn it off, turn it off. Don't close the circuit yet. Red cable to yellow, jack. Okay? Black cable to black jack. Okay, here you go. Power supply. Red cable to yellow jack. Black cable to black jack. Okay? And then you're going to put your alligator. 
Okay, and here you go. You're going to clip one end of the resistor. We do all of that to verify Ohm's law. Okay, here you go. Clip one end of the resistor with the black cable. And you finally close the circuit. If you didn't burn uh, your multimeter, you'll be able to measure the current. Okay, now here you go. See the difference between the circuit with to measure current and to measure voltage? It's very different. One is connected in parallel. The other one is connected in series. Okay, like that. Here you go. I'm going, here you go. I'm going, to, oops, not here. Next, here you go. That's how this circuit, that's how we draw the circuit diagram. The yellow that you see here in the multimeter is the positive of the multimeter for measuring current. The black is always neg negative, right? Here you go. Never. Never does any, never do anything like that. Never connect your ammeter in parallel with the resistor or you're going to burn it. Or you're going to damage your, no matter how many times I tell you, there is at least one group that does that. Never do that. Okay. That's the right way to do that. Do you want to see it again? Here you go. If necessary, start from, you start from scratch. Red cable, red jack. Red cable, yellow jack, yellow jack of the milliamps, microamps. There are two yellow jacks. You don't want this one. You don't want to use this one. You want to use this one for this specific multimeter. Black cable, black jack. Alligator to the resistor, one end of the resistor. Black cable from the battery to the other end of the resistor. Okay, if you did everything right, you should start to measure the current. And don't forget to use the most sensitive scale of the multimeter. So let's see how we are doing there. Measure the current for 10 volts, 8 volts, 6 volts, 4 volts, and 2 volts. If you cannot get down to 2 volts, get as low as you can, 2.8 or 3, okay? Once you have measured the positive values for the current, then you're gonna measure the negative values for the current. How do you do that? Oh, by the way, never connect the multimeter in parallel. Here I'm showing the multimeter connected in parallel. Now, here you go, you have your system, your circuit connected like that. You're going to disconnect the red cable from the red jack and the black cable from the black jack then you're going to reconnect the red jack the red cable to the black jack and the black cable to the red jack to generate a negative current and then you repeat again since you you finish you you finish at two three volts you're going to go work up right work uh, the value up you know two two point eight or three volts all the way up to four six, eight, and ten. You should get negative values for the current. So here you go. The spreadsheet. You are working right in here now. See I plus? What I plus mean? I plus mean that the positive of the multimeter is connected to the positive of the battery. That's what I plus mean, okay? That's why I put I plus there. We are going to repeat this exercise for the multimeter connected elsewhere. Okay? So go ahead. You know, start from scratch again. Disconnect everything. And we are going to put the multimeter next to the negative. Okay? In the previous step, we put the multimeter next to the positive of the battery, of the power supply. Now we are going to put the multimeter next to the negative. Let's see how we are going to do that. Disconnect everything. 
You should get exactly almost the same result, okay? Here you go. Red cable, black, red jack. Now, instead of connecting to the multimeter, you're going to connect to the resistor, directly to the resistor. And now, what's going to be next? Black cable to the other end. Oh, it doesn't have to be black cable. It can be red cable too. doesn't matter. Okay. Red cable. Actually, it has to be a red cable because it's going to go to the positive of the multimeter. The yellow jack of the multimeter. Don't burn out my multimeter. Preferably, turn it off. Preferably turn it off, the multimeter. And then you close the circuit. Red cable, uh, black cable to the black jack of the multimeter and the black jack of the power supply. Repeat the steps. Okay? Do you want to see it again? Yeah? Let me pause. Okay, at this point in time, you should have finished measuring the negative current flowing through the circuit. In this case, the initially the multimeter was facing the positive of the power supply. That's why I call that the I plus current. You invert, you invert the polarity and you get negative current. You are going to do, now you are going to place the multimeter on the other side of the circuit. You're going to place the multimeter on this side of the circuit. How are you going to do that? You're going to start from scratch, right? Here you go, start from scratch. Power supply, red cable, and now instead of going straight to the multimeter, you're gonna go to the resistor. Red cable to other end of the resistor. Connect to the positive of the multimeter. Black cable to the multimeter, to the black jack of the multimeter, and black jack of the power supply. Get your measurements. Okay, that's how the circuit looks like. Get your measurements. That would be the I minus. I call you. I call it I minus because the multimeter is directly facing the negative side of the battery. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so you're gonna get positive currents all the way down here. Then you are going to revert the polarity first you disconnect the black and red cables from the power supply and cross them red cable to the black jack of the power supply black cable black cable to the red jack of the power supply When you do that, you are going to be measuring negative currents right in here. And you collect all the data that you need. Here you go, raw data right in here. Use every possible significance figures that you can. Use the most, ne the most sensitive scale to get the, the most number of significance figures.
that's all. Okay, so here you go. After collecting all the current, you are going to calculate the spreadsheet is going to calculate the average current for you in this column. It's going to calculate the power as well. Make sure you display all the right significance figures there and the resistance as well using Ohm's law. These resistance values should be similar to this resistance value that you measure at the beginning of the lab. What you're supposed to do now? Okay, you are supposed to plot the current and the voltage. Remember, the voltage should go on the y-axis. Okay, here you go. I'm going to write that down for you. Plot. Plot V1 along the y-axis and the I average along the x-axis. The slope should be the resistance of the resistor. Okay? That's what you have to, to do. If you're not getting the same value, it did something wrong. Uh, fill up the units. Fill up the units. Show the proper... Show the proper sig figs for the power. P and the resistance and the resistance calculated using Ohm's law. Okay, that's not what we want. Okay, so that's basically the experiment for today. Let's see if you got a successful experimental data, right?